Santiago Pope Garcia works as a private military advisor in Colombia combating drug crime. While there, an informant named Giovanna asks for his help with smuggling her and her brother out of the country in exchange for information on the whereabouts of a drug lord named Lorea. Giovanna tells Pope that Lorea lives in a safe house in the jungle along with all his cash. Pope travels home to the States to recruit his old Delta Force friends to seize the money under the pretense of working for the Colombian government. Tom Redfly Davis, a realtor, William Arnhead Miller, a motivational speaker, his brother Ben Miller, a mixed martial arts fighter, and Francisco Catfish Morales, a former pilot. With persuasion from Pope, they decide to steal the money for themselves. The group, wanting to minimize casualties, plans to move on the house while Lorea's family is at church. They quietly subdue the guards but cannot find Lorea or the money. Pope realizes that the money is in the walls, and the team finds that there is far more than they expected and rush to get as much as possible before Lorea's family and guards return. Redfly becomes consumed by the money and demands the crew continue loading it past the hard stop that he himself set until they convince him that they are out of time. With the money safely loaded in the truck, they make one last sweep for Lorea. He ambushes them and wounds Ironhead, before being killed by Pope. As the crew tends to Ironhead's wounds, and now several minutes past their getaway time, some guards return. The crew take them out, burn down the house, and escape in the van, driving by Lorea's family, who are returning from church. They meet up with Yovana and her brother with $250 million in the van, and then rendezvous with Ironhead's old friend who provides them a private Me 8 MTV. One transport helicopter to reach their getaway boat that would allow them to escape from South America. Catfish is skeptical that the helicopter can hold the weight of all the money at high altitudes as they have to fly over the Andes Mountains to make it to the meeting point. Unwilling to leave behind any of the money, Redfly urges Catfish to proceed. The crew takes off with the money and a net bag attached under the helicopter. They transport Yovana into Peru with her brother. Redfly aggressively questions her knowledge of them, knowing she could link them to the robbery. Before leaving, Pope leaves Yovana and her brother with a share of the stolen money and visas to Sydney, Australia, and urges them to leave South America as soon as possible to avoid being caught by the gangsters. As the group takes off, an unsatisfied Redfly claims that Yovana was lying to him but Pope talks him down. Fixated on the money, Redfly becomes more and more willing to break his own rules and do whatever is necessary to escape with the money. As planned, the crew begin flying over the Andes Mountains. However, as they are reaching the helicopter's maximum ceiling, one of the helicopter's gearboxes is overwhelmed and damaged due to the cargo load exceeding the maximum weight, causing their helicopter to enter a rapid descent. Unable to recover, Catfish urges the team to release the money bag to allow for a safe crash landing, which the group survives. Redfly and Pope attempt to retrieve the ditched money bag, which landed in a cocaine farm field village, by negotiating with the local farmers and villagers. Their attempts to peacefully retrieve the money fails due to a heated confrontation arising as the farmers mistake the group for DEA agents and view them as hostile upon noticing Catfish and Ben in the distance. When one of the angry farmers approaches with a machete, Redfly draws out his pistol and kills him and several others, prompting the other villagers to back down. While Catfish, Ironhead, and Benny prepare a group of mules to transport the money, Pope and Redfly compensate the village elder with some of the money before the group continues on their way. When they reach the top of the mountain and make their way down, a firefight takes place with two villagers seeking to avenge the deaths of their families. Redfly takes one of them out before being killed by the second villager, who Pope kills. After a brief argument between Ben and Arnhead, Pope urges them on stating that both Redfly's family and they themselves deserve the money at this point. They proceed towards the ocean with the money and Redfly's body. Ben scouts ahead and reports that their getaway boat is still there but the village is filled with armed teens waiting for them. While Pope initially argues that they go through the armed teens, the others vehemently disagree. Knowing they cannot sneak all the money through the town, they toss the money into a ravine, keeping only what they can carry in their backpacks. They attempt to quietly make their way through the town to the boat carrying Redfly's body, but are discovered. After a car chase, the team makes it to safety in the boat with $5 million and Redfly's body. Later, 
As the team sets up an offshore account in St. John's, a lawyer provides paperwork disseminating the funds evenly between the four men and Redfly's family trust. However, the guilt-ridden men each agree to give their shares to Redfly's family. Afterwards, the team go their separate ways with Pope planning to head to Australia to find Yovana. Before leaving, Arnhead gives Pope a set of coordinates scribbled on a piece of paper, the location of the ravine in Peru where they left the money behind. I'm not